Hey there guys, how are you doing? Sean here bringing you his first ever YouTube gameplay commentary. And today I have a team deathmatch on, I think this map's called Hanoi. But I wouldn't pay too much attention to the gameplay, it's uh, pretty campy. Between the servers being down and the end game lag and theater mode not working, I haven't had much of a chance to get a decent gameplay, but this is pretty much just going to be an introduction to what to expect in my channel and what I'm all about. I'm sure by now you've noticed that this gameplay's been sped up and if you haven't then I worry for you. But that's because nothing much happens in the beginning. Uh, make my rush, don't meet anyone, spawn switch and that's the end of that. But it does pick up I promise. But yeah I'm actually going to start off by telling you a bit about myself uh, because I don't think enough commentators do that. Great example would be anyone out there that is subscribed to Next Gen Tactics. Guns for hire. I first thought he was a 14 year old kid living with his mum and dad, but oh no. That appears he's a mid 30s wife and kids, so yeah. But yeah, my name's Sean and I come from Glasgow, Scotland, in case you haven't noticed. At the time of recording this, I'm 18 years of age and by school just over a year ago and that was that was when I got into gaming you know I uh, had nothing to do during the day I was without a job and bored and that's when I discovered it was Call of Duty 4 at the time uh, Modern Warfare 2 had just came out but at the moment I have a job <laughs> working in KFC so I don't have enough time for gaming as I would like but uh, we need to get money from somewhere don't we I uh, first got into watching gameplays, um, maybe four months back, I started watching Next Gen Tactics, mostly videos put out by Guns For Hire, and if you haven't seen any gameplay from him, check him out, he is hilarious. Um, what other commentators do I watch? Uh, Pwn Star For Hire, C Nanners, Hutch, I'll put a list, a link of each. Eh, uh, who else? GX23, Captain Sparkles, White Boy, oh, Sandy Ravage. I'm sure you've all seen Sandy Ravage. Anyhow, that's that's enough about me. I want to get straight into what you're going to be seeing on this channel and the videos that I'm going to be producing. Uh, mostly, I'm, uh, the pl I plan to make them entertaining, of course, but it's going to be a lot of tactics, strategy, uh, once I get my console back, I'm actually a PS3 player at the moment, I'm playing on the PC. It's going to be a lot of free for all and search and destroy. But I'm actually enjoying playing on the PC, I mean, it's a lot more difficult in terms of console wars and oh, the 360 players are better and oh no, you're wrong, the PS3 players are better. Uh, I think you're both wrong. I don't know how many times I've, I've crept up behind somebody and I've shot them in the back and I've whipped round in a second and knife me in the face, it, it's pretty ridiculous, the reactions and just gun skills they have is insane. So you may be wondering, well, if you're enjoying it, why do you want to go back to the console? Uh, simple reason, I'm a big free-for-all player and at the moment it's, on the console it's obviously 8 players per free-for-all match, uh, the console is 18, sorry, the PC is 18 players, and um, 18 players on nuke time. Sorry, it's no fun, it's no fun. Not only that, but I mean, I don't, I don't know anyone playing on the PC. Um, all my friends are over on the PlayStation Network. So, how much longer have we got? Uh, we've got another two minutes of run out of stuff to say, so... I think I'll... I was planning to keep this for another video, but I think I'll do it just now. Uh, pretty much my thoughts on Black Ops. Uh, problems, things I enjoy, guns I'm using. Overall, I'm I'm loving the game. I mean, there is it does have its problems, but I think we all expected that. Um, biggest problem for me would be the recoil and just how unpredictable it is. I mean, I was a a big fan of the Bad Company series. Uh, Bad Company Two, absolutely loved it, played it to death, and the recoil in that game was it was controllable. You you knew it was going to happen with your gun and. It took quite a fair bit of skill to to really master each gun. 
but uh, it seems this game, I mean, bus firing is just as reliable as, as going full auto, which uh, doesn't make any sense. In my opinion, it just, it just narrows the gap between experienced players and inexperienced players. So, yeah, but guns I'm digging at the moment. Uh, the AUG, which I'm using just now, it's a fantastic gun. It's got the, the power of the scar from Modern Warfare 2. Um, what other guns? Recently I've started using the Enfield, which uh, is really nice. The recoil really controllable. I can, I can trust it to bust fire properly without spraying all over the place. Uh, the Galil or the Galil or however you want to say it, that gun is beast slap a silencer on it. Uh, you're set to go. Oh, wow, <laughs> the video's winding down already. I think I'll continue this subject either the next video or the video after that but, um, I just want to take this time to say thank you for watching uh, sorry if it wasn't full of excitement and confidence and enthusiasm as other commentators but um, that is a first video isn't it I'm sure you'll let me off anyhow this has been Sean's first video and I'll see you next time